What's up? Today's video is going to be a little different. We hatched 18 skink eggs, and I'm going to show you guys a few little things about that. So in here, we've had 18 skink eggs incubating for quite a few days now, and the first two skink, first three, I see three. They're poking their heads out. We got three eggs hatching currently. So there's one guy right there. There's one guy right there. And there's one right there. These are five line skink eggs. All right, so I'm gonna leave the lid off now so they don't suffocate, but oh, that is insanely crazy. I'm so hyped right now. Yeah, so these guys have been incubating in here for like two months now. This guy right here, he, he opened his eyes and you can see some blue tails. There's 18 in here. One, two, three, and broken free. This guy's making his way out, and then there's one, there's one right here that's uh, making his way out. So one poking his head out right there that's making his way out. A lot of them are poking their heads out. We got three that are fully broken out, and then there's one underground right there. You can see his tail. And then there's some unhatched eggs too. I'm hoping those will hatch. I'm gonna get a time lapse on one of those eggs. Quick tutorial for making a reptile incubator chamber. So you'll need two Tupperware boxes, some tin foil, and some chicken wire and some paper towels. Start by putting your eggs in the smaller of the Tupperware boxes. Make sure you disturb the eggs the least possible and make sure they're positioned in the same way they were when they were first laid if you're moving them. Make sure that the top is never pointed up. In your next box, pour water and a wet paper towel and a piece of chicken wire on top to keep this raised off of that water. And don't put too much water in because too much water is bad for the eggs. So place it in as so, like that, very carefully. And then always keep it raised above that water on that chicken wire. Fashion a lid for this out of tin foil and chicken wire. You can kind of see the chicken wire poking out there. Keep it nice and sturdy. It, this helps create a moisture seal and those eggs really need a, a moisture seal to hatch correctly. So place that on top of your smaller tub of the box. So once you have that lid on top of your smaller box, take the lid to the big box and place it Place it on top as so. And this creates a really good moisture seal in there so the eggs will stay nice and wet. Now, remember you never want too much water because if there's too much water, then it will drown the eggs in there. So that's a quick tutorial on how to make a reptile incubation chamber. So anyone experienced with trying to hatch reptile eggs knows it's a very difficult thing to do. Reptile eggs are not easy to hatch. This was kind of a milestone for Owen and I that we actually managed to incubate these successfully. We have helped a decays brown snake give birth to her live young before in our nature center, but that was a little different. Now, never take eggs from the wild unless you absolutely have to because you disturb the eggs or something. Never just go out and take them if you find them because chances are they won't hatch if you don't know what you're doing. Five out now. We got one, two, three, four. Uh, where's the fifth? Oh, there were two right there. Five. So yeah, five boys right there, or girls. And then we got this little boy or girl on his or her way out. We got this guy right here. And then I thought we had one over here, but I guess not. So those are the ones that are currently out or getting their way out. As soon as they're all out, I'm gonna move them in a better habitat. All right, so time to move the five skinks in here into here. So the other skinks can get go, go back in their incubation chamber so the other eggs can hatch. And these guys will safely swarm out of their eggs. First one. Look at that, it's shedding straight out of the egg. Oh, jump back in. All right, two more. This guy's shedding too. It's All right. And number five. All right, they're all five in their new home. I see three of them. 
Oh, I see four. I do not see five. Yeah, so, yeah, and then the rest of these guys will get out of their eggs in short time. I'll update you guys in the morning on how the eggs are doing and how the, uh, the if there's any new skinks hatched. Oh, there's one guy under there. I, I tried to make it where it's nice and open and the soil is not too deep. And I'll feed in them pinhead crickets. So yeah, see you in the morning. Oh, oh, you thought it was over. Well, I, I just got news that oh, there's a western rat snake in my back garden. And I have to go catch it. Oh, oh. Stay tuned. You'll see me get it.